good morning friends uh, today's topic will be xml uh, uh, xml part 2 uh, the previous in the previous part i have showed you how to write an xml document and all in this part we will be i will be showing you how to use the dtd pro, dtd while writing the xml document okay how to declare a child element what are the keywords that we use like the empty keyword any keyword mixed con keyword and uh, like the child elements how do we write the child elements in the dtd part of the xml document look at this example this is how this is how we write the empty keyword okay what is an empty keyword the empty keyword describes that an element has no content if i want to write an xml element that does not have a content then i have to use the empty keyword in the dtd part so look at this example here if you look at this example clearly you will see that i have written the empty keyword here i have written the empty keyword here now this empty keyword here means that the salary element will not have any value if you look at the program here if you look at the xml part of the program see this is the uh, this is the uh, dtd part of the program i have already explained to you like uh, this as uh, this one this one is the root element employee is the root element and these are the other elements that are inside the root elements like employee number employee name and salary this pc data means employee number will have some value a text value from the xml program from the xml program it will have some kind of value okay so that is why it is known as a pc data mm, but salary here i have written empty this means that there will be no value here if you look at the output you will see that salary is again empty empty element look at here look here you will see that salary is empty if you look carefully there is a slash sign after the salary this shows that salary is empty then the any keyword see when we use the any keyword this tells us that there is a child element in that particular um, xml dtd document look here course detail sorry if you look at the course detail here course detail course detail is the root element where i have again after uh, the in the element i have written course detail as any this means that the root element course detail will have a child element so information is the parent element and these are the child elements course name and fees course name has value in the xml document so this is learning xml is the course name and fees pc data this is 30000 is the fees and since i have written any since i have written any this means that this means that my xml document my xml document will have a child element this is the output of it information has the child element course name and fees if you look at mixed content this tells us that they it includes both pc data and a child element the element which is which has a mixed content will contain both um, a child element as well as a uh, data into it look at this example doc type teacher teacher is the root element now element again teacher is teacher has a child element called as code it also has pc data means the code will have some data so if you look at the top it says it includes a combination mixed content includes a combination of both pc data and child element so teacher teacher is my xml document teacher is my xml document it has pc data and code pc data means data that will come from the uh, uh, xml uh, code and code code is the child element and child element will have some data into it if you look carefully here you will see that teacher 
in the root element teacher has code and this is the code number and code is closed and teacher is also closed if you look at the output this is the output of it then child element see if i want to declare a child element in my xml document this is a perfect example of declaring a child element in my xml document look at this program very carefully you will see here book is my root element books contain these elements ISBN, title, author and price. ISBN has PC data means it has some textual data. Um, title also has some PC data but author. Here author a, I have written author and then I gave a bracket and I wrote first name and last name. This means first name and last name are my child element. So when we want to declare a child element in a DTD, we write it something like this. An author is the parent element of that child element. So this is my parent element. Then first name and last name also has PC data. Look at this code now. This is my XML code. From here the XML code starts. See ISBN I have given a number. Title I have given the title of the uh, book. Author is my parent element. Now it contains two child elements, first name and last name. And then price is there. Again, price, the value of price is there. This is the output. If you see carefully here, you will understand that this two are part of author. So author is the parent element and first name and last name are the child elements. Now, whenever we write a child element in the DTD we use some symbols these symbols are question mark asterisk and plus sign we use the question mark symbol when we want to indicate that the XML element that the XML element the child element may appear more than once uh, it may not appear once or it may appear one, only once it may not appear or it may appear only once when I give a question mark sign so look here if you look at this example here you will see landline the red color one landline if you see here I have given a question mark here this means that landline may appear this means landline this one has not appeared landline there is no landline here see if you look at the definition may not appear at all or may appear once so this is the output since i have not given i have given a question mark i may write i may not write that one also then there is a asterisk symbol see the asterisk symbol tells us that it may not appear or may appear any number of times it may not appear or may appear any number of times previous one was may not appear or uh, appear only once this one asterisk sign says it may not appear or may appear any number of times so here for mobile i have given the asterisk sign for mobile i have given the asterisk sign this means this means i can repeat mobile two or more times okay i can repeat mobile two or more see here i have written given mobile i have described mobile two or more times if you see star mark is here asterisk this means that mobile can appear one time or many times so here i have given um, mobile three times this is the output of it and the last one is the plus symbol the plus symbol tells that 
it must at least occur once or many times any number of times if i give a plus symbol i cannot skip that one it should appear once or it can appear more than once so look at this example here nicely you will see for members i have given a plus sign here now member see club is the root element inside club there is a child element called as member that child element member has these values sorry member is the parent element and member number member name mobile and line line are the child elements they are they will get the value from the computer uh, from the program itself see but here the main ex point is here i have given a plus sign this means that it should appear it should appear once or more than once so so member has appeared here member has also appeared here so two times i have written member because there was a plus sign here i hope this is the output of this one this is the output i hope you understood this one